Hey YouTubers, so I've been away for a little bit, so I figured I'd give you a little idea of what's been going on with the mink. So let's get into this. That, that right there is what I've been into. Wires, 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 and never enough and more than you need of other things. So anyways, we've got a cheap wiring kit from Amazon. None of these wiring kits are cheap anymore. But uh, the MP1 costs as much as this, and it uses the VW fuses. This uses the um, regular standard um, blade fuses. I think it has it says it has 20 circuits on it. Don't count me if I 100% on that. There's a whole bunch of them I don't need in that, but it has the basics. The best thing about it is the wires are labeled like every eight inches or so. So that's one reason why I bought it is it has all the wires I need. And more than I don't, it has pretty much every wire is long enough to reach everywhere on the Manx. On like a bug, probably not going to work for you. Um, might have to move, the, like you'd have to have that behind the seat, I think, or something like that. So far, it's working out pretty well. Um, I had to go through the harness. Everything was paired with the wrong stuff. I They just don't care when they wrap it. And give you examples so the front harness what, what should have been the front harness had the left front turn signal and right rear turn signal wired in the same bundle and the same thing on the other side you know so you know they just kind of zipped it up whatever maybe the colors are different than what they normally do i don't know i don't care so i had to go through and i separated it out and basically made like a sub harness like this will go to the steering column here this one goes down to the high beam low beam switch these will basically go all into the dash all right and then so i had to reorganize that split it off to the front but it has power for a fuel pump electric fuel pump it has two extra relays that I won't use one I guess could be used as a hard start one is a horn relay um, it had power windows power locks don't need any of that radio and accessories don't need that um, it did have everything for the alternator and for starter wire which was long enough to come all the way to the back and let's turn the little lighty guy on here here we go and we pulled it through the Myers Manx wiring tube, which just mounted with the hardware they gave, which was just a little clamp. I had to supply my own. No, that was their bolt. I can't remember. I think that might have been their bolt. They did give me stainless hardware with some of the stuff they gave with that. But we came through, got a harness here for the engine. So it does have like tachometer wire. It does have, I think, an oil pressure, water temp, which I'll use for poly temperature or something like that. Um, alternator, cider, coil, choke. Not that I have a choke, but if I did, I'd have power for it. We ran it on some little uh, ties all the way across. And over there, and there's some extra wires out for backup lights. Um, third brake light and I think park light. So I might end up wiring a trailer plug or something in here to do all that. One note is on a bug, this is all kind of got a roundness to it. This here is flat, and when I tightened this down to kind of pull it in, it had a little gap. But when I did, it pulled the steel in amazingly and made a little divot there which is kind of sad that was a really nice chrome part i didn't realize it was doing that when i was doing it but lesson learned need to probably trim this up and shave it before you actually install it and chrome it so if anybody's out there building the manx just realize that can be a possibility because that was flat and now it's got a shiner in there and it's right where the boss is right there somehow you would think that was all cast and hard but it pulls on that and pulls it down 
luckily it didn't break. So that's what we've been doing. We've been playing with wiring. We are kind of at a standstill because I need to hook the fuel pump up. I need to get some brackets to mount it with. I probably need to get a fuel filter and some fuel line to put underneath there for a pre-filter for the pump. And I need to put my support braces on for the gas tank. And I'm waiting for parts. So we're kind of at a standstill on this. But stuff is getting done. I don't think I'll make my uh, goal a bug jam originally I had. Because there's still an engine over and all that that needs to be assembled. And all this needs to get assembled. But I got to get parts to put that together so we can do all that. So anyways, boys and girls, that's where we're at in the Minx. Just doing the unfun part of wiring. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I don't like either of it. <laughs> Any of it. So we're trying to get that done. Um, I did get the brakes on in the rear. I don't think I showed that. Uh, let's see here. This is the CB... Um, I think they call it the race quality disc brakes. What these are is they have a flange tub like a Type 3 does down in there. And then it uses a 914 rotor. And it came out really nice. I really like CV stuff. They, they work pretty well. So the thick aluminum brackets, but they actually clear everything. All right, they don't bind, they don't hit anywhere. Put the uh, calipers on it. It all works out really well. Um, the only thing is they machine these hubs for the short axle and then you're supposed to get a spacer in the kit. Mine was missing a spacer, not a big deal, but just inventory your parts when you get it. It may have been in the box and fell out somewhere too, who knows. But um, I really was impressed with the quality of that. Everything fit, nothing gave big struggles or anything like that. It was pretty much a bolt on and go and their instructions were pretty darn good. Um, I don't know if I have them here. I have them. Yes. Pictures. All right, so that's how the kit comes right there. You can see it has a hub, then it uses the 914 rotor, which is kind of nice. If you did any need rotor, you can go to AutoZone and get that, you know. Um, they came with a quality gasket kit, which was pretty impressive. Like most of the time, the paper gaskets don't fit. And this brand, I don't have the little box, but theirs actually did. And uh, like I say, their instructions are pretty good. So, and then they have the all important exploded view that Everybody always wonders where this O-ring goes, and it's all there for you. So, I highly recommend them. They're not cheap, but, you know, the stamp steel caliper brackets flex and all that, there's no flex in this. This thing works really nice. So, if you're looking for disc brakes, I highly recommend them. And the next step up will be something with, like, Willwood calipers, but we're not in that territory. So, anyways, boys and girls, I'm going to get back to it and hopefully try and get some more work done to this thing get out there get your projects done let's get these things going down the road and i'll see you guys later